What's up everyone? Welcome to another episode of the Flatty Daddies. I'm down here at my favorite place to fish and I'm getting into the flatheads. So stay tuned and see how I'm catching them. Thanks for watching. guys I'm gonna just do a quick uh, rundown on my rig here uh, I'm using anywhere between 50 and 65 pound braid or 30 pound mono um, I've got a sinker slide on here and right now I'm using two ounce weights so I'll go up to five six ounces sometimes with the current then just a barrel swivel make sure you get a heavy-duty one and then I have 80 pound mono uh, you don't need that strong but it just helps with uh, abrasion uh, they can tear it up a little bit, rocks tear it up. And then on here, this is a 10 knot Mustad Demon Circle hook. Um, I like to size my, my hooks to my bait. Um, 10 knot sounds huge, but these Mustads run a little bit small, actually a lot a bit small. But I'll go all the way down to a 7 knot um, if I have smaller bait. Um, but anywhere between 7 and 10, you're going to be doing fine. Um, just if you have bigger bait, put a bigger hook on. And then Two of my reels are the Abu Garcia C3s, 6500, and then I use, uh, a lot of people have been asking, the B&M Silvercat Magnums, um, uh, that's most of my rods, and then I have one of the Silvercat Elites, which uh, I really like. I, I'm hoping to eventually switch over to all those Elites, they're, they're really nice, they're definitely a step up from these. You can see them really good at night. I love these rods, I really love this grip. Um, gets a little dirty as you can see but I love the grip but at night they're really hard to see uh, but otherwise they're great rods yeah the other reel I'm using is the uh, the Bass Pro Shops Cat Max uh, they're great reels they're a lot more affordable than those C4 or C3s um, they hold a little bit more line actually and they're, they're great reels i really love them i took it apart and i think i put it back together a little bit wrong so it doesn't cast as good as it used to but overall very solid reel uh, a lot of guys use them and they catch big fish on them i've caught my biggest uh two fish on this reel and it the drag handled it fine i'm not casting far because there's a lot of rock structure right behind me and that's what i'm trying to get All right, something did have it. He's just been sitting on it because of the weight being snagged. It's something little. What the heck? I think it's a small flathead, if I had to guess. He's trying. He's giving me a battle. Yeah, oh my God! He, it's amazing how even just this little thing can fight that hard. No, he's not. He didn't even swallow it. Ugh, not the kind of fish I'm after, but it's a fish. Well, it's the right kind of fish. Not the size. First one of the night can only go up from here, right? Cool looking fish, though got a hole on the other side somebody else called him recently let me uh, pop this hook out and I'll show you you can see in the corner here somebody else hooked him this little guy has not learned not what I'm here for got my foot wet too that was smart all right same deal here guys bringing it up and a little bitty flathead or something on here 
Not how I want to be catching my fish. That means they're gut hooking. Both of these were live bluegill that this is happening on. Man, they're so strong for how little they are. I know he's little, but he's, he's giving it so much effort. He's in a lot of water too. I'm bringing him up slow because I was fishing probably about 40, 45 foot of water. So I'm going to just let him get his air bubbles out, which I haven't seen any yet. This one might be a hair bigger than that last one I caught, but he's not going to be big. He's a fish. He's a fish. He's a flathead. Like I said, you can only go up. It's up, but not by much. Man, that actually is a good hook set. Another fish. About five, six pounds, but he's a fish, and I'm pretty happy for it because I've been out here for about an hour and a half, and this and the other little dinker is all I've got to show for it. Daytime fishing isn't my best, though. All right, thanks for the fight. Going with the refrigerated fall fish head. Died uh, yesterday or today and put it right in the fridge. It was actually still partially alive. So it's nice and fresh. Uh, obviously I like them just killed or, you know, live. But this is the best you can do otherwise if they die on you other than throwing them right on ice. This spot uh, looks pretty good on the sonar. It's uh, about 13 foot behind me and it's right in a swirl. The current, uh, the current's pretty strong here and there's a couple good rocks. That one, I don't know if it's moving or getting bites already. Might be some channel cats down there. Yeah, it's getting bites. There's channel cats in there. It's a good sign. It's got twos on here, but there's actually current here, which is probably why I'm getting bites. So I'm going to throw something heavier, try to keep this one off to the side while that uh, channel cat tries to take all my bait. There's channel cats, there could be flatheads. There we go. That's on that live green sunfish there. Woohoo! Got some action. And the camera's not even facing the right way. There we go. Doing a lot of head shaking. I don't know what I got on here. Could be a big channel cat. It's feeling like it, but I, I'm wrong a lot. Smaller flatheads will shake their heads sometimes. And I got the current. This is a new spot. I've never fished it before. Uh, and already I got a bunch of bites and a fish. It's a small flatty, I think. Come up. Come on. I hate when they come up to the top. It's so so hard to get them to do anything. Yeah, it's, it's a flatty about like that second fish I had. Whew. It feels so big in this current. It's been a while since I've, had, I've fished it. Fish current, at least. All right, there we go. About a seven or eight pounder. Third one of the night, all flatties. Well, 
Put another green sunfish back on. He's a little bit smaller too, so that's what he liked. Maybe another guy will like it. Put it back in the same general area too. Just a little lob. Put a little bit deeper than last time. All right, nice healthy meal. I never cleaned the pan from the last time, so I might, who knows what my gut's gonna be doing here. It's done. Two doggos, Escamage. That one looks a little bit better. Yeah, that one's a fish. It's using that current. Fish are getting very active in here. Oh no, we got that other line. Yeah, he's got he's got a little weight. And he's holding his own right here in the current too. All right, where's his grippers at? Back here. And he's actually going to the front of my boat now. Yeah, he's got a little bit of weight to him. Probably about 10 to 15 pounds. Live bluegill again. Oh no, this is cut. It's cut fall fish. There he is. Yeah, he's not bad. Looked right in the corner. Got him. All right, guys. That's a effective fish. Started smoking a cigar because the mosquitoes came out. They're getting real active all of a sudden. I'll give him probably about 13, 14 pounds. It's not a bad fish. That's a real nice fish. All right, I think he's on this time. On that cut piece again. Definitely a flathead. Oh yeah. Man, they know how to just angle their heads just right to make this current work for them. It's, it's amazing. They feel so much heavier than what they are. Ooh, but he's, he's not a small one at all. Probably very similar to that last one. Man, this is a good spot to try. It's produced a lot of fish already. Yeah, he's got some weight to him. He might be bigger than that last one. Take and drag too. Tell me, let's see what we got. Maybe. It's gonna be a freaking fight if I get into something big here. 
And I love it. Almost up. Oh, he's going back down. Actually having to pump this guy to get line back. Yeah, this is a this is a pretty decent fish, guys. I wasn't sure there for a little bit. I don't want to hype it up over nothing, but I think he's he's probably approaching 20. It's a good fish. Yeah, there he is. Big head, real big head. Ah, oh. Didn't get him, didn't get him. Come on, you. Making this kind of fuss over a teenager. Get in here. He's bigger than that last one, but not by a whole lot. There he is. Not a bad fish at all. I'll take that all night long. Seriously, all night long would be awesome catching these. But uh, yeah, a little bit bigger than that last guy. I'm gonna give him probably about 16 pounds. On the cut bait, the last two have been on cut bait, I think. All right, so he was a hair over six or 15 pounds, so a little, a little overestimated. Not bad at all, guys. All right, guys. Well, this spot's been pretty good, but I want to try a couple more spots before I head home. It's uh, like quarter after nine. I'm probably gonna fish till 11, 11:30 because it's a, it's a work night. So, um, gonna just keep on moving around, seeing what I can find. Well, we hit hit like a boss I think he missed where he's just really small no he's small or he was swimming right towards me he was swimming right towards me still not very big though fish might be an end cap fish little flatty you guys that don't really flathead fish you can see though a fish you know five six pound fish just has so much power these flatheads they just have so much power That was, uh, I believe, yeah, live bluegill he took. Well, guys, this is the last fish of the night, and uh, it was a good night. I, I caught a bunch of fish. You know, the biggest was like 15 pounds, but it was just a solid night. I found a lot of good spots that I wouldn't, I had never tried before, and uh, you know, that's what it's all about. You got to get out here and explore. Sometimes you don't always just go to your favorite spots because. You know, certain times of the year they're just not going to fish, or they're not going to catch fish. Or you might show up and there's somebody else there, or real close to there. Especially in these tournaments, we got to be 50 yards apart, so got to have a lot of spots. So this actually is my uh, one of my go-to spots. I usually end here, uh, but I might try something else, but probably not. So thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned, the fishing's getting better, the water's getting cooler, and things are about to turn on.